Welcome Strategy Battle Gamers to another GBHL James video. You are here for an army showcase video, first one for a while here on a GBHL podcast and I am showcasing my Rivendell Knight army now there is of course a big reason why i'm showcasing this army a lot of you might have seen it in the monday hobby vlogs that i was doing about a year ago because of course i was getting them ready for the nova open last year well i am working on them again and i've had a little bit of help from my friends um so because nova is coming up very soon and the long bottom carnival as well I thought it'd be a good opportunity to show off the Rimdale Knight army that I have so far. And here they are in front of me, nicely displayed there on the Scouring of Cheshire Hobbiton showpiece, which of course is Bag End, made by uh, GBHL Steve. Uh, and here are the Knights. Now in this army that I've got in front of me, uh, I actually have, I think there is, well we can count them out, can't we? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There are twelve knights currently um, and there are two captain models in there. Uh, there are also two banner models as well. Um, for the Nova Open and Long Bottom I won't be using them as banners, um, but they are very, very, very pretty. Uh, but what you can also see there is that there is, uh, there is Elrond. Now when I say I've had a little bit of help from my friends, that of course I mean the our channel sponsors and good friends of ours, uh, Shadow and Flame, uh, Kev Marsh Spectre, that's Kev Lawrence, and uh, and Dave Fredericks, of course, part of that business. Um, but Kev has very kindly, um, over the past uh, couple of years, of course, um, provided some wonderful, wonderful models for us to showcase and use in battle reports on the channel and the various series. Uh, and this is a great video to to showcase some of those miniatures. So he did the Elrond Foot and the Mounted as well. Now I believe that he had a reasonable amount of difficulty uh, doing. Uh, that I think that uh, it's not been his most favourite model to ever paint, but he did do a great job nonetheless. Uh, so this army showcase video will showcase that off. A little showcase off two of the recent paint jobs that um, that he sent to me, which was a a, a, Ro a Rivendell Knight Captain and a new Rivendell Knight banner uh, worthy of representing Great Britain at the Nova Open. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring some of those models into focus. Now uh, let's just start off with the basic Rivendell Knights um, that you will have seen um, in those hobby vlogs over a number of, over the last, like I say, over a year ago I was working on these guys. Now originally when I was painting them I was quite keen for them to uh, to look how I perceived them in the movie, so with the kind of dark red cloaks. I, I didn't realise just that they're probably actually a bit dark in this. There are quite a few kind of black, almost almost black um, dark brown kind of cloaks in the movies as well. Um, but I really like the idea of the red. Um, and then really it was only when I was going to the Nova Open that I kind of built on that idea and decided to try and create almost like a, a British Imperial kind of look and design. Uh, so when I bring these guys in. And by that what I mean is I went for the kind of uh, ivory coloured pants. Of course, you had the silvers in the armor. I do, I do like the uh, the elves when they got the silver armor. I think it looks really cool. Uh, and then to complement the red cloaks, and black boots, and the uh, ivory pants, uh, actually using blue cloth for like the saddle cloth and the banners and the like, uh, which I actually think as a as a look turned out pretty well. I it got voted third for best painted at the uh, at the Nova Open, which I was pretty chuffed about. Um, I actually even embarrassingly went up to go and get myself an award, which didn't exist, uh, but it was nice to be kind of mentioned, uh, as it were. Um, and also, uh, when I first started painting these guys, I was painting their horses to be like, grey horses. So I just kind of masked that, and then I remember seeing a chap's champagne coloured horses on the Great British Hobbit League uh, Facebook page, and I was super, 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 super impressed, so I decided to give that a go myself. Um, so with that in mind, uh, that is where, that is the brief that I gave to Kev when it came to asking him, because I, I've got another four knights that need painting up, um, I needed a captain and another knight and he said he wouldn't be able to do them all, um, but he would be able to get a captain and a banner to me in time and my briefing was, yep, yeah, just keep them tied in with these guys and I think he's done a great job with that so the model that we're going to showcase from Shadow and Flame first of all that goes along with my Rimdale Knight army is going to be the captain is going to be the captain uh, and let's bring that model in straight away so here we go this 
is our Rivendell Knight Captain from Shadow and Flame. So as you can see, he's gone for the same paint scheme, um, which obviously I'm pretty happy about because it ties in with everything. Now one thing you can notice uh, with Kev's painting is just how neat it is, of course. Um, it's little things I notice when I compare the two, because of course I'm always looking to improve my painting and painting techniques, but little things just like making sure that the gaps between arm and gaps between colours are clearly defined. So, you know, there are very, very neat gaps as a division, so that you are almost kind of blocking the colour. Uh, and then another thing, of course, is all of those slightly more advanced techniques, uh, such as the free hand on the back. This is one of Kev's favourite types of pattern. Um, I have it on a few of my miniatures that he sent to me. Uh, but even the, the likes of having the jewel in this shield, I think that that looks absolutely fantastic. I'd love to do that on all of my shields. Maybe I'll just send him a bunch of shields and see if he'll do them on my shields. And uh, and also you can see that little bit of detail there um, with the jewel on the horse's breast as well. Um, absolutely stunning miniature. He's done a great job with this. I also noticed that actually some of his highlights for, for example, with the black, I've always had to be, I've always felt like I need to be quite careful when highlighting black so that it doesn't look too grey. So, you know, I'll do the black and then I'll do the eshing grey. Uh, but I've noticed that he actually highlights up to an edge highlight of probably what looks a bit more like a dawnstone as well as the, uh, the eshing grey. So actually a little bit more of a stark highlight on the very, very edges of what he does. And of course, he's also done that bit of pattern on the saddle cloth and it's just an absolutely stunning stunning miniature and of course it fits perfectly um, with my uh, paint scheme for my Rivendell Knights I and mean, if we just compare here and we pull them in um, so you can compare my paint job versus a pro painter's paint job just As you can see, it's just that extra, that extra level. We let these guys focus. Come on, you two. That's not having that, is it? Um, I'm pretty pleased with my cloaks, uh, sort of next to his, um, but just that extra, extra level on the face, on the head just uh, even on the horse uh, but pretty good to see uh, now although this captain is beautiful he isn't even really the showpiece of the latest things that I've sent to him so if I put that lovely captain back the model that I really want to show off here is especially for Nova here's my new Riverdale Knight Bannerman and uh, just how stunning is that so the model itself is of course beautiful, just like the other, you know, great work on the cloak, nice little bit of detail in the end of the cloak with the, uh, the gold thread line, of course you've got the jewels, the free hand around the, uh, on the saddle cloth, something which, you know, I'm looking at my nights and I'm thinking, well maybe once I paint up this next four, maybe I'll start adding these little bits of detail and just start trying to raise the game. But of course, the, uh, the showcase bit of painting here is that banner. So you can see that there is a little uh, flag of the Union there. Uh, so the flag of the United Kingdom, Great Britain and Northern Ireland making up that middle part there. And also this beautiful blue and white check design sort of going halfway down that standard. Uh, and it, I, I just think it's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. Great work, Kev. Really, really, really good. Um, and bearing in mind as well, absolutely phenomenally quick turnaround time on this. Probably took him just over a day um, to get the models to this kind of standard. So definitely worth it if you're looking to get some commission painting done. Remember, you, you might have to wait for your job to come up. But when it does come up, it'll be done quick and to an amazing level. Uh, so a stunning banner there to go in my army uh, and like I say it does make me feel like I look across the army it's an army that I've been very happy with in terms of uh, the level that I've painted it to probably one of my best painted armies 
uh, in a lot of ways. A lot of people are big fans of the scheme and the colour scheme. Uh, but I look at these from Channel of Flame and I just think, okay, well what I'll do is I need to just raise my game ever so slightly. Now, although I won't be taking Elrond um, to Nova and Longbottom, this is a Riverdale Knight army. And I do have Elrond. Now Elrond I think is great fun to use. I love this model. I absolutely love it. And I think Kev has done an outstanding job with it. So with this he's actually gone for the kind of darker cloak and the like. And the grey horse, the greens there. Again we've got that design going along the back end of the cloak. That's kind of a Kev feature I would say. I mean, this is a lovely model for stop. Again, can you see what I mean? It's very, very clean painting, but the highlights are actually pretty stark. Maybe I need to be a little bit braver in my own highlighting and just sort of trust that uh, as long as I'm clean with it and neat, that perhaps um, perhaps it won't turn out terrible. So that's Elrond. Now, one of the reasons why I don't take Elrond, he's a, he's a lot of points. Don't get me wrong, he's a beast. Being, you know, he's a, obviously got all the threes in the right places. Um, you know, he's a fight six hero. He, he can re-roll his fate wound, uh, his fate rolls, uh, and he's also got a little bit of magic. I think just the three will with having magic, and then you know he he's probably you know you want to do his cool spells, but he's probably going to be saving that to resist spells. Uh, in all fairness, um, so for the number of points, it just makes it a little bit tough to bring him. If, if you got a three pointer, will a turn? Uh, obviously, if you are in a big enough points game to couple him with Gandalf to do some strength and will work in there, uh, or even with the new White Council bits and pieces, uh, fortify spirit around him so that he can resist on two, so he can actually use his will. Now, I know that Lindir is around to give him a three pointer will every turn, um, but really Lindir in the force as well you know when Rivendell Knight captains kitted out on 90 points I'm not too sure that it works uh, so I do enjoy using Elrond uh, but probably not as as competitive a build perhaps uh, but as you can see the paint job here from uh, from Kevin's gorgeous and uh, you know it deserves to be shown off in this army showcase video uh, so I'll put him back and I'll also show off the uh, the foot model here for Elrond here he is. Again, I really, really like this model. I like the pose. I think it's cool. Great design. Of course, you don't want to end up him getting uh, him end up having to use his foot model. Uh, as you can see here as well, one of the key features of uh, Elrond was that Kev wanted to try something a little bit different uh, when he painted these. Um, and he wanted to give the marble floor effect uh, a bit of a go. Um, so that's what you can see here. Doesn't fit in with the rest of the Rivendell Knight Force, of course, because I've gone for a sort of flowery, meadowy kind of style bases. Um, but absolutely gorgeous nonetheless. Now, do I enjoy using Rivendell Knights as an army? Well, um, I enjoy using cavalry. As you know, I love playing with Rohan. Um, now, one of the things that I found that I found with Rivendell Knights is that, of course, Rivendell Knights can do um, the kind of the two jobs that you need in a in a Rohan army. They can do both of those pretty well. Um, so, in a Rohan army, of course, you know access to 100% bows is great with your rides of Rohan and Westfold Red Shields. And of course, Rimdale Knights have that as well, but they've got a three plus shoot value and a strength three bow, so they're shooting better, um, and they are wounding easier, uh, and they're also defense six, which is which is great in that regard. In that regard, uh, but what they can also do, which is great, is that they can uh, then go on and they can also do the fighting part, but that's all combined in one model. So it's not like you're having to take a Son of Ale and a Westfall Red Shield. Um, you know, these guys when they charge in, having those lances and fight five. Um, they are they are very very good in that regard. Uh, but now one thing that I found last year when I was using them for uh, to be competitive for uh, Longbottom um, and also for uh, I believe I took them. Did I take them? Did I take them for? I think I took them to Scotland as well and did reasonably well. Um, and also when I took them over to uh, Nova, is it because I took them with Gandalf? It meant I didn't play them 
as I would play cavalry normally because you, you, it, it's a much more defensive game. I found that I was staying within his bubble a little bit too much. Um, so as much as I, as I loved him, I found that a little bit more restrictive. So this year I will be um, I will be taking this force to Nova plus the four knights that I've got to do minus Elrond that you can see there. Um, but I will be taking them with Saruman. I will be taking them with Saruman. Uh, now Saruman is a model that I painted. Um, he doesn't really deserve to be in this army showcase, uh, but since this is a little bit of a kind of teaser of my army for Nova, um, this is my Mounted Saruman, which again you will have seen the hobby vlog, I've gone for the kind of Orthanc style floor. Uh, the mounted model, I, re I really love the mounted model and then I painted it and I don't know whether it's because um, I'm just comparing it to the snooker Saruman that I was doing at the same time uh, but I much preferred painting this miniature and I actually think that this Saruman is possibly uh, it's got to be between him and Legolas mounted I've got to be um, vying for the best min best painted miniature that I've personally ever painted perhaps what do you guys think? Um, I just really enjoyed painting him um, I think that he turned out really well. Um, I mean, if we compare him now, just take a good look at him. Uh, Legolas, uh, well, Megalus will also be in my Nova Force uh, for absolute sure. Um, you know, he is fantastic. Um, of course, the extra support for shooting will be great. You know, that'll be fantastic. But also having that Fight 7 three attack hero um, so this guy will also be going with the army so it's between this guy who like I say it's between him and Saruman on foot between my my best painted miniatures I personally believe um, what do you guys think uh, but he will be in the Nova Force and a long bottom force for sure um, so yeah, a good opportunity to just sort of bring them in and show them off. I've also got, of course, the um, Breaking the Fellowship Legless on foot, which again you'll have seen in hobby vlogs, uh, who'll be going along with this army. And I think just by taking Saruman, it'll allow me to be a little bit more aggressive um, and be able to play the force a little bit more like how I try to play uh, the Rohan force in terms of you know splitting up into little pockets and trying to split the enemy and you know choosing when and where to um, you know hit them with your bows and then probing and knowing you know when to close the distance and charge and I think that uh, I think not having Gandalf will help with that what do you guys think uh, so still four more knights that need doing for this force but I thought this would be a wonderful opportunity just to show off uh, the army show off some of the wonderfully painted miniatures by Kev Lawrence of Shadow and Flame Thank you very much, Kev, for the uh, Rivendell Knight Captain, the banner, and of course Elrond as well. So, who, who won't be going over to um, Nova? I might take him in the case and just show him off as a display piece, um, but uh, he won't be making it into the army. Uh, so, what do you guys think? Do you like this army? Do any of you guys out there run Rivendell Knights? Um, they're a very, very competitive army for sure. Very, very competitive. Um, I think that they could be an absolute plane to pay against. Absolutely, but um, you know that's 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 what they do, right? That's what they do. So you got to do uh, what they do. So um, hope you enjoyed this army showcase. Seeing a little bit of what I will be taking over to America. Uh, you guys know what to do. Make sure if you like this video that you do comment, like, share, and subscribe. Get involved in the conversation. Do like and share our videos because it helps the channel absolutely massively. You can support your Hobbit hosts and the content that we do by checking the links in the video description below. Of course, you can support myself by going and checking out my battle report channel, Hotgates Gaming. Um, don't forget to support your Hobbit hobby guys. And as ever, happy strategy battle gaming.